You can do commutators as much as you want, but it gets inefficient if you're doing one after another after another. But sometimes this case happens and it's kind of nice. Suppose you've done all of your centers and you're down to the last two. Again, you're down to the red and the blue, and you've got two pieces that belong in the other centers. They're together, however. You can actually commutate them at the same time. So like we did before, move them in the top slice to a relative position, and I like them in the upper left here as much as possible if I can, like that. In the slice that's facing you, move that slice so that they're in the same relative position. So they're in the same relative position. Now do the same thing. We're going to move this slice that they're in up. We're going to rotate clockwise the slice. And now since we moved two of them, instead of just moving one slice up and out of the way, we're going to move both of these up and out of the way just for a moment. Now we rotate this slice back counterclockwise. We put the one row back that we had moved originally. We rotate this around clockwise again to go up and get, and now we bring down the ones we'd hidden, and voila, we've done two at once.